Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, doing what I love, 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 love best. This is a nice large hexagonal, hexagon, hexagon canvas. It's a 12 inch by 12 inch, obviously. I've got my balloon art magic balloons and BAM balloon art magic and a baby balloon magic. So I'm going to use these uh, different size balloons in this pour for this hexagon canvas, which I, I do have in mind for a friend or oh, my, my ballies are going AWOL. My little balloons are blowing. Um, so I do have it in mind for somebody that just loves this um, particular style that I'm going to do and that I absolutely love doing. So here we go. I've got some absolutely gorgeous colours lined up, but to sort of give um, a bit of a base on there, I have got this beautiful light pea colour, or it really it's just white with green deep. It was just better than having a green, I mean a white canvas. And this is quite a nice, pale peppermint or very pale um avocado 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 oh you know what i mean avocado 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 that'll do it's whatever you want it to be crazy art day radio i'm gonna use my little sponge duva can um sponge brush this gives it a nice quick and easy run over and I will go down my sides even though I'm not too worried because I'm pretty sure that what I end up doing will go on the sides but you can always paint your sides at the very end you can run this brush over or most of the time you, your artwork will run over down the edges whether you blow it out or um, run it out over the edges so I'll just quickly get through this. Check that I've got it all in frame. I think I need to come down here a bit. So this big beautiful hexagon, I'm really hoping that I can end up um, uh, resin over this finished product because I just really want this to pop. So I'm going to use some, um, it's just called it's just a light purple. So I'm going to just do my wiggles a bit over this. And I'm going to put some of the dark, just purple, deep purple. Hoping this is just beautiful. This will be just beautiful. I'm hoping. So whatever, it's just paint. Go back over it. So radio. Might actually put a bit of my uh, champagne gold in here. Why not? So this is some um, champagne gold is 50% gold, 50% silver, metallic. So you get a nice metallic -y look in there. Now just to finish off that side, I'm going to just put, this is kind of a bit navy, but a little bit night lighter, I guess, than a, a real dark navy. those beautiful colours so I'm going to try and work with uh, less is best and, and not do too many colours so I'm just tilting this all oh, those colours are so nice together probably be, be really nice to do the whole canvas in just those colours pretty sure they would turn out super duper I just have something in mind for a person that I want to gift this to. 
If it turns out well, if not, I will pour over it again. So just bear with me while I tilt nice and gently. You don't have to do it as quick as I'm doing it. Let's give this a tilt. I'm going to try and bring it further down the canvas, stretch this paint out a bit. Rightio, rightio, look at those colours. Wow, pretty nice, pretty nice. Now I'm really going to pop the old socks off on the other side. I'm going to, oh, if I can get the paint out of my container. This is the bright orange that I have done. Um, I put a fair good blob of yellow in my bright orange just to bring the, oh, just to bring it up even more. So if you didn't know, the purples and the orange always look beaut together, really beaut. And then I'm going to use a real deep red, the deepest red you've got, I guess. These always looks nice with the orange. Can you see where I'm going with this? Or you think, what the heck is she up to? I guess you do. Rightio. Um, I'm sure I'm going to add a little bit of the very bright yellow in here. Why not? Why not indeed? We <sighs> I'm gonna tilt that over a little bit. Let's see if we can tilt this run a bit off. And run a bit this way. So just taking it nice and slow. You don't have to go as hectic as what I'm going. I don't know why I'm rushing it because this is part of the lovely art process that is definitely art therapy to take your time. Don't rush anything. Because this paint is fluid, it's gonna it's not gonna go drying on you quickly, so you haven't got to worry about that aspect. So Now I'm going to take this back, see if I can run it back a bit. So I've still got the good amount of the two colours. Wow, lovely, lovely, jubbly, lovely. Let's try and just finger pop the edges so I've got some nice colours down my edges. Which is always nice but having that uh, base coat under there at least give me something nice and slippery for the other paints to go over easily so remember just do it all slow Rightio. I'm excited about this but I am going to do something with this one um, okie doke I am going to I think I'm going to just try a balloon on this, but if the paint all falls in, then just walk away and leave your piece of art for a good half an hour for the paint to soak into the canvas and absorb into the canvas and it, you'll be able to do far easier balloon kisses uh, when the paint is a little bit tacky. So we'll give this a go. So with me big big balloon I'm going to try all the different balloons this is going to be absolutely kissed kiss of life or death um, I'm going to balloon the different sizes and you can absolutely have a canvas set aside which I probably will do if I yeah set aside to transfer your, your balloon kisses onto the other side so let's give this a go nice big yo look at the blue coming through Look at this, wow. Okay, I am gonna leave it. I'm gonna go and make myself a cuppa and I suggest you do too. Um, well, I'll be back in a second on film, but I'm gonna let the um, paint absorb into the canvas a little bit more. Just got my smaller balloon that I've got a bit of water in just to see 
if it brings it up. And I'm going to set up my um, second canvas over here to do some of these balloon kisses onto the second canvas. Okay, I have only left this piece about five minutes, but I just had an idea that maybe I should blow some of the paint off to get some effects and then balloon it. Um, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to just balloon some of this and show you um, our balloon kiss on my canvas that I have sitting next to it. So that's not so bright. So that one I'll balloon. I'll show it you because I can't. So the balloon kiss is directly onto the next canvas. And the same, I'll just. Hence why I call it balloon kissing. Look at the lovely effect, that one. When I bring the camera close, you'll see the gorgeous effects. So I might do some of this purple. Oh, look at that. Oh, so gorgeous. And again, I'll bring the piece up and I've just pressing it onto the blank canvas besides and you get these absolutely gorgeous effects which will look gorgeous when so I could do several other pieces of artwork with out of that one piece so you're really not wasting any paint whatsoever if you transfer your balloon kisses onto another um, canvas so that is a really lovely idea and it just gives a super super duper effect so I did say I'm going to um, blow some of that paint out, did I? I'm really two minds. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Um, I might give it a go in one corner. I hope I don't ruin it. Um, but, you know, let's give it a go, Joe. Let's see how we go. So I've just got my mini dryer. Wow, love those colours. Wow, look at those colours. They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going chasing my balloons now around here. So this should give me some really gorgeous balloon kisses. Now let's go for it with the smaller balloons. So get the balloon in between your two fingers, the belly button, there and there. Shall I try two hands or oh, I don't know? There you go. Let's go with the smaller balloons and just kiss. Wherever you choose kiss and roll, you can do the most amazing effects in this. in my hair dryer in paint never mind so yeah all of this paint that I'm collecting on my balloon you could be pressing onto several other canvases I have not got the room here to have the other canvases set up today so I'm not doing it today but but you certainly could and not waste one balloon kiss of paint because it could all be going on to a second canvas for sure. But there you go. Some beautiful effects in that. Keep going. Oh, 
right I'm gonna get the smaller balloon for the fiery side you can balloon kiss the sides of your canvas it's absolutely beautiful to have those effects on the side see it's got quite a lot of paint there where it's got a lot of paint just kiss it in and wipe it off and then you'll collect some of the extra I think this will look absolutely you beaut super duper resined because it'll bring all those colors out uh, what a beautiful gift for somebody on a nice hexagon hexagon can hexagon never can say that I don't know why silly jilly oh actually doesn't that look nice with a bit of the purple oh yeah baby that looks so nice yep whatever your heart desires give it a go put it in there it's only paint don't worry about it Let's mix it up. See, this is my favorite thing in the world to do. So you're having a good time, you're creating a beautiful piece of art. And especially if you're gifting it. There you go, putting some of that orange in. Wow, beautiful. Have a go of this if you haven't already. Have a go. So rewarding. Radio. I think I have given it kiss, 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 and more kiss. More kiss and more kiss. And I love it. Absolutely love the effects. Colours beautiful. Radio. I'm happy, happy with that very happy with that that's super gorgeous with a coat of resin when it's all dry that will or just gloss varnish I'll see when it's dried what I um, would like to do with it but it's absolutely gorgeous I love it and I hope you loved um, creating watching me create today and go and give this a go yourself so thank you so much my lovely people until tomorrow bye for now there'll be photos on the end of the other canvas that i did the balloon kiss which is going to be beautiful once that's dried too so take care bye for now